Before the early access ends, I also do want to test out one of the big game rifles. I am not sure if we're going to go with the 338 or with the 300. I'm tempted to go with the 338 because I feel like a lot of other people are going to do the 300 as that is the cheaper of the two. So let's pick up this one and then uh, see what it does. This one is supposed to be good for the black bear, for the elk and for the moose, at least here in Ness Pierce Valley. It does look like we're getting our first chance at shooting something with our 338. Got some moose up there. Have a very tiny ball, it seems, but uh, he is going to be doing better than nothing, I would imagine. Not even sure if we need to go for the ball. We just need to see how quickly we can. Oh, how quickly we can get a uh, moose down. He is young. All of them seem to be, so I might have simply just taken out too many moves in this area and ended up with just having the young ones left. If we can get down to like, let's say 200 meters of that one up there, which is somewhat broadside, I will go for that shot. I do believe we're going to have more than plenty power to take these bad boys down. That's 200 meters on this one. I think... I am about fine with this. I just don't want to end up having anything spook simply because I didn't pay attention to what's going on. So let's just try from here. Zero for 200. Get our uh, sight zoomed in a little bit. And... And let's go. Oh, oh, that was good. I don't know if we hit a um, hard shot on that one, but definitely went down real quick. That was completely different to the 7mm08 we've been using so far. I like this. It's going to be interesting to see just how much meat that we ended up losing out on on this. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Air bubbles fast, a lot of blood pink. I mean, I know it's a young one, right? But let's go. And it does not seem that we're actually getting any heart. We did get double lung and um, it took it down basically immediately. Not a very big one, not getting a whole lot of uh, money out of it. We did lose almost 20 kgs to the uh, shot impact. It might have been the, uh, the angle we had, but it could also simply just be that you're removing so much of the moose by using this big gun but on the other hand you're finding it immediately so is it worth sacrificing this would be like what 50 bucks of uh, your money simply just to find it faster in general if you can shoot a lot of animals then i am pretty sure it will feel better to do it this way because you're gonna spend less time tracking wounded animals and more time tracking actual animals we got ourselves another moose out here we're out in about 200 meters again this guy is we only have the young ones around oh, that one is actually an adult i'm not sure if we should go for that instead even though this uh, male right here does seem to be a really bad trophy gens only a single star um, maybe we should just go for the female and see. We're uh, gonna see if we can have a little more... Oh, she is actually giving us the perfect broadside shot right there. I was just asking myself if I could have a uh, little more... Broadside thing. And I am pretty sure she is hit as well. She definitely did act hit. Getting to run a little more than the other one that we shot at. I don't know if it's because of the size or simply just because I had to take a shot through some branches there and I'm not 100% sure what we then ended up hitting. That is a lot of blood and uh, air bubbles so definitely did hit long. She didn't make it very far. Guess we'll try to pick her up and see what we get. Actually artery, lungs and lungs on 187 meters. She did go down a lot slower than the other one, and we actually managed to lose a lot more meat to the uh, bullet as well. But she didn't run that far. We had a good blood track all the way. I guess we get to try again. Little lower distance here. I oh, would really like... She's actually going to be going straight towards me because I just let out a call. 
But I guess we could definitely get a single lung from here. Let's just get down on the ground, get a little bit closer to the edge here. She is calm, 100 meters away. Wind is good. Oh, there we go. Moving around a little bit. Could give it another toot. There's one out there. Is that the male? I will say that is probably a good shot. Oh, he did not like that. He did not like that one bit. I actually wanted to go for the female, but uh, I'll take the male as it is right now. 100 meters out. Should have been a very, very solid shot, that one. A lot of blood and air bubbles. So this guy is... Uh, wow, he's down right there. Yeah, guys. This is definitely the most killer of the game. I haven't tried the 300 uh, Win Mac, but the 338 is definitely enough for uh, your needs of taking these guys down. Oh, looks like I actually got my first hard shot. Like, straight on hard right here. And... Oh, did I? I'm not sure how to read this. I imagine... Looks to be a pretty solid hit. The only downside I see with this gun is that now we've taken down quite a few and we are losing a lot of uh, meat every time we take a shot, which essentially is quite a lot of money. Here we lost about 120-ish coins. So is it making it... I would still say it is probably easier because you do not have a whole lot of tracking to do. So yes, you're losing some money, but you're definitely gaining time. And I think time is more important, at least if you have a few of the guns and such in the game. But that is my review of the 338 Lapua Mag. I do definitely recommend this gun on the big game. I don't think I would use it on whitetails and such, because if you're ending up removing like 40 kg from those, there's not a whole lot of deer left. 